Vladimir Nikitin, participant in the Aiba World Championships in Baku and at the London 2012 Olympics. Bronze medal winner at the European Championships. And of course, a national champion and a former national youth champion. So fighting out of the red corner for Russia, seeded 10 in the AIBA World Rankings, Vladimir Nikitin, seeded 2 in the World Rankings from Ireland, Michael Conlon, fighting out of the blue corner. Slight height advantage to Conlon, our referee Lars Broville. from Denmark. Three three-minute rounds to decide the second of our bantamweight quarterfinals. A good solid start from both fighters. Great lateral movement from Conlon. And he's able to deliver as he moves as well. Great body shot with the left. And Nikitin still trying to settle into this round. Michael Conlon on Ireland. Starting to impose himself very early on. Slipped beautifully by Conlon. And already halfway through this first round, we're starting to see glimmers of excellence in terms of footwork, skill sets from Conlon. The Russian trying to shut that ring down. And outpower Conlon. from our referee, Mr. Lars Brovel, to Nikitin, just to keep his head up. On the inside, Conlon working the uppercut. This has been a gritty round for the Russian. He's had to work his way inside. And Conlon with that quadruple combination Punishing at distance, drawing the Russian in, and able to land some very, very heavy shots indeed. So, a unanimous judge's decision in favour. So, the previous bout of Nikitin, Juan Donis, and Gojan Vyaslav in the prelims. That was his route to the quarterfinals. And as we revisit this, Nikitin had a lot more success than we probably gave him credit for in that first round. On the inside, 
really worked extremely well once he managed to nail Conlon down. Two or three. Representing Russia, Vladimir Nikitin. Representing Ireland, Michael Conlon. Conlon fighting out of the blue corner. Nikitin out of the red. Well, Nikitin understands that that strategy of closing down the ring space, getting tight inside, and working off the short punches is where the advantage lies against an opponent like Conlon. Conlon, I have to say, looks very adept at both styles. On the inside, can work very well, but at range, great lateral movement. Now, deciding in the second round to try and dominate the centre of the ring, try and out-punch the Russian on the inside. And the combination so fluid from Conlon. Triples, quadruples, great skill sets. Both take a warning about low heads and the possibility of a clash from referee Lars Broville. Our referee from Denmark for this second quarter-final at 56 kilograms. And with just over a minute left in this round, some very technical work on the inside from the Russian and being matched equally by Conlon, who started off this fight very fluidly, very relaxed with an open style, but he's matching the Russian their heads again. Good work on the inside from Nikita. Conlon may have misjudged the strategy in this second round. Working so well at range, moving laterally, outboxing the Russian, but the Russian seems to have drawn him in. And this almost slugfest in the center of the ring well from my lips to Conlon's is off he goes on his bike again and at the end of the round much grittier for both fighters after the opening but again in favor judges score it 10-9 Christian Nagy, Brian Gonzalez, they were his roots, both unanimous wins in the prelims. Seeing the replay, the relentless forward. Muscling, out punching style of the Russian. What will emerge in this, the third and final round, in the second of our men's bantamweight quarter final at 56 kilograms from Russia, seeded number 10, Vladimir Nikitin, and the number two seed. Former Olympic, well, current Olympic bronze gold medalist from Ireland, fighting out of the blue corner, Michael Conlon. Conlon so far has advantaged himself in terms of the judges' favour with two rounds. 
in favour. And this has been great work from both of these fighters. Really crisp, technical shots. And a great standard representative of these Aiba World Boxing Championships. Only the odd reminder from referee about possible clash of heads. But halfway through this third and final round, we're really seeing work that is a demonstrable cut as you'd expect at this standard in the World Boxing Championships and the Russian has managed to force Goblin into that head-to-head -head slugfest in the center of the ring Conlon unleashing the combinations and in the briefest of time windows looking up from above the guard and then putting those combinations to work together Nikitin almost the same Conlon matching his style half a minute left in the third round and unless Nikitin can really pull something spectacular in this last half minute. It would appear that Conlon for Ireland has done enough work here. Last warning from the referee. But at this stage of the proceedings, those words seem perfunctory Good fight. Good fight. the bell of the final round Russian very graciously paying respects to all the officials in the opposition corner and we just get a chance to look at the highlights and the ferocity of that work on the inside Russian really grinding this into a war of attrition but we need an official verdict well Vladimir Nikitin is the winner by unanimous decision three straight rounds